Oh hi, come in. I can't seem to find my purse. Okay, um, sure. Who the hell are you? I ordered a pizza. A small one, just enough for me. Seeing as you've decided you won't be cooking tonight. Fantastic! I make dinner every night, and the one time I refuse to do it, you go off and get something just for yourself without even thinking of me. Well, what do you expect me to do when you tell me I don't deserve to have any man cook for me? Well, Sergio was happy to cook for me, so I guess you were wrong. Nancy, did you ever think of even trying to cook for yourself? Of course not. So as long as you don't make the attempt, I'll keep doing it. Well, I'm so sorry I have to work a 12-hour day at the moment. You know, it'd be nice if you gave me a little bit of support considering all the extra money I'm bringing into the household. Oh, here we go again. Yes, you earn more than me. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I guess if we ever had kids, that would mean that oh, I would be the one to have to quit my job and raise them? Children, that would mean we'd actually have to have sex, Lawrence. Let me ask you something. Do you think that... Sorry, what's your name? Darren. Lawrence, hi. Nancy. Hi. Hello. Do you think a reasonable man would be turned on by a woman sitting in front of the TV, drinking a stubby and belching like there's no tomorrow? Maybe not. But Darren, did you know that when Lawrence cooks, he wears a hairnet? I would rather be just a little bit anal retentive than completely gross. Well, forgive me if I like to relax and have a beer after a long, hard day at work. Here we go again. You earn more than me. We know. We know. You are absolutely nuts. And yet, Darren, I still try. I still try for him. Just last weekend, I dressed up as a fantasy of his and he did not give me one ounce of appreciation. The fantasy was for us to do it to a Michael Jackson song. Not for you to dress up as him. Is that thanklessness or what? <laughs> you are crazy. Darren, what do you think I should do? No, Darren, what do you think I should do? I think you should learn to listen to each other and compromise. You seem like a couple that has some differences, but in this short time I can see that you do still really love each other. And I know you can make it work. Do you really think so? Do you really say that? Do you want to know what I really think? I think you both obviously hate each other. God knows why you even got married in the first place. Lawrence, you don't appreciate or even listen to Nancy. And you don't make an effort to give her what she needs. Nancy, you're selfish and self-centered. And you don't show Lawrence anything resembling respect. <laughs> the funny thing is, you two are just as bad as each other. Be that as a may, Nancy, Lawrence, your marriage is screwed. What the hell makes you think you know how to keep a marriage together? Yeah, you're what, all of 19? 18. <laughs> and what, what, have you ever been in a relationship? I happen to have a serious girlfriend, okay? And how long have you two been together? Two months. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're giving us relationship advice? The pizza boy <laughs> thinks he's a marriage counsellor. <laughs> the pizza boy thinks he's a marriage counsellor! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting to be paid for this pizza. Remember the pizza? Yeah. Here you go. Keep the change. Look, I know you were just trying to help. But how about next time? You just mind your own stupid business! What a moron! Fancy that. Some smarmy little teenager telling us how to fix our marriage. And what do you call that haircut, anyway? <laughs>